Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you what the May Day event is all about in Animal Crossing. So this is an event that starts on May 1st and runs until May 5th. And we're gonna see a very special guest, but first let's go ahead and see what Isabel has to say about this. Today is May Day. I hope you'll swing by resident services to learn about our special May Day tickets. Nook Inc. is giving them out as a way to express their appreciation for our little island community. It'll be amazing. You'll take a trip to a faraway island, get a little R&R, &R, but isn't that why you moved here? Anyway, it's going to be all sorts of fun, so don't forget to speak with Mr. Nook in Resident Services. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Aw, this is so nice. Okay, let's head over to Resident Services and see what this whole event is about. Ooh, Kix is here. Nice. Let's talk to Tom Nook. Oh ho, I'll wager you're here to grab a May Day ticket, Nami. I'm handing them out as part of our May Day celebration. Speaking of which, it's time for a little pop quiz. Do you know what we're celebrating on May Day? What? I did not study. <laughs> Look at this pun. I may or not really. I may. Well, that doesn't surprise me. You are a wise one, Nami. Yes, yes, May Day is a day when we express our gratitude to those who work hard. Like Isabel? Is this Isabel's special day? Although I suppose my May Day event is more about play than work, my getaway package idea started as a way for folks to escape and enjoy carefree lives on deserted islands. I'm sure you've been enjoying a leisurely island life here as well. However, I can't help but think about all of the support I've gotten from our wonderful island residents. It can truly be said that a lot of hard work has gone into making this island great. As a thank you, Nook Inc. has created a special tour for island residents. Yes, yes, I call it the May Day Tour. I'm sure everyone will enjoy the recreational activities I've planned. So take this opportunity to hop on a plane, take a trip, and unwind after all of your hard work. I've left a May Day ticket for you at the airport counter. May 7th, is the last day you can use it, so take flight whenever you like before the event ends. I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. Did you need me to repeat any of that? Nope, I'm good. I'd love to hear your thoughts after you've gone on your trip. Until then, have a good time on your May Day tour, Nami. Oh, oh cool, so until May 7th. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. I think you only get one ticket. Oh, can't talk now, Maddie. Sorry, I'm going to the May Day event. All right, here we go. Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Port Astra Airport. Oh, it's you. Good timing. I got a May Day ticket from Tom Nook with Nami written on it, which makes it yours. When you want to use this ticket, you just gotta say the magic words. I wanna fly. Got it? So, Nami, you got anything to tell me? I'm gonna say the magic words. I wanna fly. Roger that. This May Day tour is a special trip to a faraway island. It's all organized by Tom Nook. I mean, what in this world isn't organized by Tom Nook? As for what awaits you there, you'll just have to find out when you land. For this tour, we have to go empty-handed. We'll hold on to all of your belongings here at the counter. Don't worry, we'll be sure to return them when you get back. What? You're gonna take my stuff? Yeah, sure, I guess so. It's time for takeoff. All right, let's get you airborne. And we have touchdown. You are at your Mayday tour destination. Now this tour is different than most. Whole island's a giant maze. Wow. Nothing an aerial view wouldn't help, but that's not why we're here. This is a navigation tour. You copy? The point is to find your way through. We've stowed your gear back at the airport counter. So you'll start this mission with empty wings. Or hands. We big shot bird types rely on our inner raider to get us around. It's a pretty nifty trick, but you groundbound goslings will have to zero in on whatever you can find in the maze to reach your target. If you get stuck or grounded or lost in a fog bank or whatever, just hail the rescue service on your phone. Our whiskered allies will reset things so you can refuel, regroup, and restart the maze. And if you ever feel like you need a little extra intel, I might have a hint or two for you. So, time to get going. Right about November Oscar Whisker. Good luck and wheels up. Oh my gosh. All right, so what we have here is a bit of a hedge maze and you can kind of see there's a lot of stuff scattered around. 
We can't see the full extent of the maze, we'll have to delve in deeper. But right here, right away, we have the shovel. So that's our first tool. You can also see some fruit. There are some tree branches back there. It looks like some stone. There, there's another tool there, I don't know what it is. It might be an ax or a net or something. And it seems like what we'll have to do is use all of the parts that we come across to solve our way through this puzzle of a maze. I have the shovel here and I'm gonna use it to dig my way through. I'm gonna eat this peach to get this tree out of the way so we can venture further into the maze. All right, so there's also some sections here that have this little water indentation. It won't let us pass left and right, so we just have to go forward. And it looks like we're being blocked from these peaches over here by this tree. And since I just ate the peach and kind of used it, I can't get to those. I also can't get left or right from here. I have to go either forward or I can take this little section back. I'm just gonna follow through the maze and see where it takes me. It looks like I have some, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Who's that out there? It's Rover, 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 look up here. Oh my gosh, we got him to look backwards. Rover, hello. Hey, look here, hey, hey. Oh my gosh, he's not paying attention to me anymore. So I'm gonna keep going. It looks like I can only really go one way. I'm kind of being funneled. There's some branches here let's see where this takes oh it just kind of loops back around oh no it takes me here i wasn't able to now i can go through this little bit and pick up these tree branches let's see here's another tree branch oh and here we go our second tool it's a worn axe i wonder if it says worn because it's not at full health like you know how all of the tools only get a limited number of uses uh, I don't, <laughs> I can't get through this part, so I need to go back the way I came. So let's retrace our steps. Oh, you know what? There was this tree here. Here we go. This tree. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. It only lasted enough for chopping down one tree. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shovel the stump out of the way, and we're gonna pick up these these peaches and I'm thinking if I eat the peaches I will be able to break some rocks so let's head out back to where I was before see we have this rock here and if I eat the peach I'll be able to break through this rock and pick up the rest of these peaches so I'm gonna go ahead and eat it and I feel like that might be a good trade-off maybe oh look at this Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't need these DIYs. I don't need to learn them. There is a little work table here. And then let's see what we're going to be making here today. There is a recipe for the flimsy axe, which doesn't chop down trees, so it's not that useful. I will need it as a precursor though for the regular axe. And it looks like we need one more iron nugget, which we don't have, but was available back there. We got to go back. I don't remember if it was this way or the other way. Well, let's just, I think it was the other way. Or this way. I'm already turned around, in, you guys, in this maze. All right, I made my way here. I think I'm gonna have to eat this last peach I have. I'm a little nervous. So I have the iron nugget, so I should be able to make my way back over to the work table. And then also we're going to want to shake the tree because we can probably get branches from it. All right, I'm going to go here to the workbench and let's craft ourselves a nice new axe. So we got plenty of materials for that. And hopefully this axe will not break on us in three swings. So I feel like this is a puzzle that fits together pretty neatly as long as you follow all the steps in order. Let me see if I can go up here. So let's go cut this down. I'm not sure where it's gonna lead. 
And hopefully I don't run out of like uses for this shovel either. I've been digging up a lot of tree stumps. All right, so I'll pick up this peach and I guess I need to use the ax this way. I mean, I don't know what else there is to do. Hopefully this doesn't use too many uses. So this, this will preserve our shovel usage. So just have it sit and like swirl around. And that way we aren't using up our shovel too much. All right, so have we made our way to Rover already? Oh my gosh, with the ax, I looked like I was gonna like murder him. Rover is here in the game. Oh my gosh, you made it to the goal, huh? Hey, have we met before? You seem kind of familiar, but... Oh, sorry, I've been traveling to a lot of different islands lately, and I'm pretty bad with names and faces. This is my first time on this island. It's a pretty weird island, isn't it? What brings you here anyway? Oh, I can say Tom Nook sent me or it's a secret. I wonder which is a good answer. I like being mysterious, but I, Tom Nook is like highlighted. So I feel like that's the one they want us to pick. Wait, you know Tom Nook? He's the reason I'm here too. I mean, I'm here because he invited me. He told me he put together a very interesting attraction on this island and I should check it out. But I didn't expect to find a maze. Nyahaha fra. What? <laughs> what does that even say? What a surprise. So, if you know Tom Nook, does that mean you live on the same island as he does? Uh, it sure does. Or I can say, yup, it's amazing. I'm gonna go with that. That's great. I bet it's a blast hanging out with Tom Nook on an island all the time. I hear he's been putting a ton of work into that place. What was it called again? Oh yeah, Port Astra, right? Ding, ding, ding. Ha ha ha. I knew it. Hey, you're pretty interesting, you know? If all you island folks are this much fun, I bet Port Astra is great. Oh my god, is he gonna move to my island? You got a name, by the way? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nami, huh? Great name, great name. I'm glad we met, Nami. I want to commemorate this occasion by giving you a gift. Ooh, what is the gift? It looks like furniture. It's so great to meet you. I mean, what are the odds? I didn't really expect to have this much fun here. One thing's for sure, I'm hoping fate will bring us together again sometime. See you later. Does this mean he's going to come back to our island? I feel like this isn't the end. All right. So there are some tickets here. I don't know what these tickets are, but I can use my handy dandy shovel to get this little hedge out of the way. And we can go pick them up and see what they are. Oh my gosh, there are bell vouchers. Okay. So I got four bell vouchers. You can turn in bell vouchers for 3,000 bells. So that's a nice little 12,000 bells right there. Let's also see what we got. Rover's briefcase. Huh, I wonder what that looks like. We'll have to check back on the island. What is this? What is this? Is this like a, there's like a weird border here. I can't get around. Can I get around? Oh wait, there's more hedges. Let's check this out and see, see if it goes anywhere. This is a lot of space. <gasps> wait, are there DIYs on this beach? Give me a DIY bottle. Oh, look at this. So this is how you get to the bell vouchers that we saw kind of in the beginning because look this is the port with wilbur okay well there's a bunch of rocks in the way so i'm gonna have to i don't have enough peaches okay well i'm gonna eat this and i'm gonna destroy that one rock and then i think i'm gonna have to backtrack and i'm gonna have to see if there's any more it didn't even give me a stone so stingy all right oh oh here okay right here remember the little area that had the tree branch and the peaches i'm gonna have to go through there okay so let's scoot on over there all the way around let's go ahead and switch tools chop this down i wonder if there is another branch here because my shovel is supposed to die i'm really hoping it won't die for those last two rocks Okay, so we're just gonna scoot, scoot, scoot our way through and run around. So let's go ahead and eat those peaches, juicy, juicy peaches. And then let's 
boop, boop our way through. Look at this. Five more bell vouchers. That's another 15,000. So make sure you are looking at all the parts of the maze. So I'm going to take the shortcut back. So let's go ahead and head back to our island and let's check out what that briefcase looks like. That's a cool item. Attention on deck. What's next on your flight plan? Time to head home. We'll make sure all your things are back in your pockets once we're on ground in Port Astra. However, the gift you received from your island friend will send that directly to your house. Same goes for any bell vouchers you might have acquired while here. Find them at your mailbox shortly. That wraps us up. Ready for takeoff? Yep. We're back in Port Astra, so it should be in my mailbox. All right, so we do have these two from Dodo Airlines. Thanks for choosing Dodo Airlines, the only way to fly and close. Please find any bell vouchers we held for you during your recent May Day tour. So that should have nine bell vouchers. And then here's another one. Thank you for using Dodo Airlines. And close, please find the prize you received from Rover during your May Day tour. And if you're ever at a loss, remember to ask yourself, what would Dodos do? While I am actually a huge fan of Dodo Airlines, I feel like that question is not the best question to ask because Dodos are extinct, so whatever they were doing was not working. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. How cute. It's like a vintage travel case and it's got all these cool stickers. Let me zoom in on it. Look at that. Such cool details. That is so neat. Let's see. It's got, and it's got different stickers on each side. It's not just the same pattern. So it looks like we have a turnip sticker. There's a house, a bus. I think it's, I think that might be a bobber or an acorn or something. And then another vehicle of some sort. I think that's a bus as well. And then there's a little ginkgo leaf on this side. Then there's some gyroids. It looks like we have the, the seaplane, a bag of bells, and then the Animal Crossing New Leaf uh, logo. And then a shovel on this side. How neat. This is gonna look so cool in a uh, layout. And then let's check our bell vouchers. So we got nine bell vouchers. So I'm gonna go turn those into Timmy and Tommy and see how much we get. Like I said, I think they're worth 3,000 each. Some bell vouchers. Sure. How about if I offer you 27,000 bells? There you go. So nine times three is 27. So we got 27,000 bells, which is nice. That's going to pay for a lot of cool stuff. Let's go talk to Tom Nook and see if he has anything to say about this event. That was pretty cool. I'm sad that we only get one maze to go through. It's very clever the way they laid it out. I, I wish that there were more, like a couple of different challenges. But let's go see what he has to say. Oh, I heard you took your May Day tour, Nami. We spared no effort putting the event together. So tell me, how'd it go? Oh my gosh, you can be mean and say it was not super amazing. Okay, I'm gonna say it was fun because that's actually pretty fun. I'm so glad to hear that. Believe me, when you're happy, I'm happy. I also heard that you managed to make your way through the maze. Maybe it was too easy for an adventurer of your skill, hmm? Well, I'm just happy you had a good time. Allow me to once again express my gratitude for everything you do and the other residents do. Because of you, Port Astra is a vibrant island community, and you can be sure that Nook Inc. will continue doing whatever we can to support you. After all, we're in this together, partner. Hmm? Oh, partner! Oh, interesting. I guess making me the island representative has made me a partner, sort of? Hmm. Make me mayor. Make me mayor. So I think that's it for this event definitely check it out obviously you will get a prompt when you log in to animal crossing telling you about this event so definitely go check it out the maze was really cleverly designed and the rewards are pretty good i like this little case it's super cute obviously you guys know i love any kind of decor to add to my house and to be able to use in speed builds so this is so cool and then it's also really nice that we got a nice twenty-seven thousand bells that will definitely come in handy thank you so much for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope this helped shed some light on what May Day event is about. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to help if I can and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye bye!